All right, today we're gonna to be talking about Twisted Sister. I would like to, at this time, rank the five studio albums of Twisted Sister according to my preference. Now, these are just my opinions, not yours. I'm sure everybody has different opinions, so take it as, it, as you may. But anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this. Um, for those of you who don't know, Twisted Sister, of course, was an 80s band that uh, scared a lot of people because of their creepy uh, <laughs> makeup and transvestite looking uh, look. Talk about glam, they took it way over the edge with some uh, pretty uh, interesting combinations. Um, anyway, and they released five albums between the years of 82 and 87 before they finally disbanded um, from recording the studio albums. So I'm going to be ranking the five studio albums based on my opinion and preference. So first up is actually the first album, Under the Blade, 1982. Now, it's really a close call between the first album and the second album. You can't stop rock and roll. Um, both albums would probably come close to being tied. But I'll tell you why I guess this one just ever so inches forward. First album, uh, America wouldn't really give them any attention. None of the labels here would give them any attention. So they went to Europe, went to the UK and recorded an album. The thing interesting about this album to me is it's the majority of the songs on here are still in the set list usually today. These songs are still some of the key ones that they play. So it is still something when you watch them live, you hear these songs always. So these songs have become very ingrained in me. And so this album sticks out as being just a great album. So, but this, You Can't Stop Rock and Roll was actually the first album I got by the band. Um, this is where I started. It was only later that I went back and did Under the Blade. And this album, therefore, uh, is real, real close to being the best because of all the songs um, being played to death by myself. So, now. Under the Blade, there's two versions. This is the remix version. So it was recorded in the UK. It came out on Secret Records. Um, when the second album came out, that's why I bought that first because the first one was you know, considered more of an import. Anyway, after the band got really huge in 84, the label said, hey, let's take this old album, remix it, and release it with a bonus track. So they did that. And honestly, so you've got this first version with this cover, and then you've got the original cover. You can see the difference. That they obviously tried to just go in and, and copy the cover, re, re, reproduce it, um, but this is the original. So this is the remix version, and I don't like that one quite as much as the original. The original is a little more raw. It's a little more fat sounding to me, and this is the one that I listened to a lot before I ever bought this version. I don't have this one on vinyl yet, hoping to run across it one day. This is cool because this release just came out in 2011 on Armory Records and it includes a DVD of them playing way back in 1982 around the time that they were in the overseas recording this album. So this is a great little package and it sounds great because this is the secret records version and then this is the remix. Um, I liked the band so much back in the day, I used to draw them. See that? <laughs> Ugly colored picture of Dee Snyder. I don't know why I took magic markers and colored it, but anyway, have a fun. Some more Twisted Sister. I used to draw a lot of things. Iron Maiden. A little deal, Holy Diver. A little kiss, Team Semi. A little Adam Ant logo. Anyway, up next third favorite then comes the 1984 classic say hungry that has got all of the big hits that everybody's familiar with most people would say this is their favorite album because most people this is the most commercial this is the one they love i want to rock Can't stop. Uh, we're not going to take it uh, anyway the thing is i love this album too you get past those songs that are the big hits like i want to rock and everything those are like the big anthem hits the rest of this album smokes. It's amazing. It's got some of the better songs that didn't get uh, any kind of airplay. So this is a solid, amazing album. I love this album too. It's just the other two edge it out a little bit because 
of the energy and the just everything about the songs is a lot more in my history than this one. Um, I did. This is the only one I've got that is one of the new. Is a modern remix. So it's got the the newer came out about a year or two ago. Purple and I mean the pink and black. My fourth favorite album. Come out and play. All right. So this is the album that people will say. You know, they really started selling out on. You got Leader of the Pack. And people. Some people don't realize they played Leader of the Pack way back in the club days. As a matter of fact. Club Days, one of the early uh, recordings by Twisted Sister. These are uh, studio recordings of a lot of the songs that they played back in the club back in the late 70s. And sure enough, the leader of the pack is on here. So the leader of the pack goes way back. They've played it for years. It's not a bad song. They do a fun rendition of it. Then you got the uh, To Be Cruel to Your School video with uh, Alice Cooper. I love that song. I love the piano, the horns. Very untwisted sister-like, of course. People judge this album based on those two songs. I would say, just like with the other one, you get past those two songs, the rest of this album is solid. It's Twisted Sister, it's great stuff. Unfortunately, the record label pushes the stuff that people consider lame. I love this album too. It's really hard to rank these five albums because all of them are great, but I'm ranking them anyway. This is my fourth favorite. Now, what does that leave? It leaves Lovers for Suckers. But wait a minute, you say, Jeff, you've just ranked them based on when they were released. Exactly. In my opinion, one through five is the way that they were released. One, two, three, four, five, and I love them in that order the most. This album again had a. Some people say this was supposed to. I guess the rumor is that this was supposed to be a D. Snyder solo album. I don't know. I, I don't recall where I heard that from or whether it's 100% true or not. But I listen to this album and it sounds like Pure Twisted Sister. It's 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 a little more commercial, kind of like the last album. AJ Perry, the drummer, was out. Joe Franco was in on drums, but still, it's a great album. I love all the songs on here. There's actually a uh, demo version of the demos from this album that's been released, bootlegged out on CD. Um, this album has 10 songs. The bootleg uh, demo version has 19. I tell you what, the bootleg, I don't want to say bootleg anymore. The demo versions sound studio quality. As a matter of fact, when they reissued this on CD not too many years ago, four of the bonus tracks are from that demo. They sound just like they came right from the demo and they sound amazing so really you get the demo co copy and you've almost got a whole second album there's 19 songs on there it's really a lot of good stuff it's not your typical four track demo mess anyway that is my ranking twisted sister one to five as they were released i think that's my favorite and i always go back and listen to them pretty much in that order um they've released a lot of other live stuff and things over the years there was a reunion um i still love them of course they're not do anything now because AJ Perro passed away a couple years ago. Um, D. Snyder, on the other hand, has released a bunch of solo stuff. Widowmaker back in the early days, a bunch of solo stuff over the years. And his latest album, just came out this year, is For the Love of Metal. Came out on my birthday this year, just back in July. Um, D. Snyder's back with a metal release, uh, a solid album all the way across. It's a little heavier than you would expect even Twisted Sister stuff to be. Um, it's a really solid album, great stuff. His last album, We Are The Ones, was an awesome album, but definitely more commercial than this one. This one's definitely more heavy. So, depending on what you like, We Are The Ones, cool album, uh, 2016, Love Of Metal, 2018, it's just screams metal. Um, anyway, great stuff. Check it out. That's my rundown, Twisted Sister, one through five. My opinion, take it or leave it. Love it, like it, share it. Thanks a lot for watching. Rock on. I wanna rock! I wanna